against SKT, but it was so close for so long. And Kingzone were the team that were able to press their buttons and start the engages at the right time. And the moment that won the game is one that will be replayed again and again. Who said in your face apart from the Luxes? Kha'Zix. That is a blast from the past, but one of Kuz's most successful champions from solo queue when he debuted on Longju Game. Holy crap, it's an Ezreal Alpaca! That is incredible. That is actually the sickest drawing I've seen in a while. Shout out to that fan. Yeah. SKT fan on the other <laughs> side. So, Gra so Kha'Zix has been around in some mop up. And speaking of Faker, he's saying, let's find some bad guys. Yeah, and Rascal is in a hell of a lot of trouble. There's the last breath. Teleport comes in from King Zone as Rascal's uh -oh. gonna flash, but SKT, they thought this was coming. Neon might need to self hold here. Heads back into the Infernal Chains, flashes, but Khan's gonna go down. Oh no! The last auto, not enough damage as Faker's now looking for Neon. Not gonna have it! No ultimate available as now Faker's trying to get out. Good knock up to stop that one from happening, and now Rascal's been routed. Tucson turns up, but is it too late? Haru is gonna flash. Khan once again turned on, and he will eventually go down one for one in the end really really close to being a huge win for skt so much action this time this time baker chooses a moment gets in gets out and but is going to come up as well the same play being orchestrated from everyone as we will have the flash forward kings don't pull the trigger first but they find the knockups tucson gets the devour in exactly the right time and in comes skt they find the catfish immediately and faker he held on to the ultimate for one reason and one reason alone and that is to get all three of these kills and they ain't finished Khan grabs another one. The reset is going to come through. The blood well lands just right, and SKT four for nothing. Make for more. that five as Neon's going to go down. Does have himself a stopwatch, but see your death and maybe see three games in this series. And I love the zoom out from the observers. True five dimensional chess. Who's watching the watch memo? SKT is ahead of the play oh, on this. One. They can also make some Baron considerations. Speaking of Baron considerations, Kings are famous for doing things. This is the definition of a thing. Yep. Neon's going to come in, and Rascal has already teleported over half the health bar now on the Baron buff. As Marta's looking to make his way, and he's running real quick as On the Hunt is there from Teddy ricochets going over five members deft down here Haru throws out another ultimate but not gonna find any joy as Faker's pushing in the mid lane right above. okay there it is finally we landed it Rascal is gonna go down not any options here from King Zone the Baron was at least stopped but now cuz finds himself face to face with Teddy that's a 1v1 you wouldn't want but he does have the invisibility Teddy gets the ultimate out and they make their way out of it. Quite, and when the... not quite enough there. And oh, Khan. He checked this time, cuz not going to get Infernal Chained. A lot of damage here as the Abyssal Voyage cancelled. Not wanting to deal with it. Faker and Marta were coming down. Tucson, I don't think he can make his way out of here. Does have the flash, uses it. Dodges out of the way. There's the final spark, but he's got a stopwatch as well. Tucson keeping himself alive. Very, very nicely done. Has to use everything, but he stays alive. Well, the Rakan mechanics are on point. I finally saw some time can Very easy. Now, the ward here actually gives King Zone some information. That's huge value. Into the wall as Faker goes in. Do they have the damage to lock him down is the question. He flashes, gets himself out of the way, cleanses eventually, Cuz stays alive. The Rise picks up the kill. It's one, two for one so far. Haru has to flash. Rascal gets obliterated. Deft finds Teddy in the back line, though, still wants the auto attack damage, but isn't there. Mata goes into stasis. That fight was way closer than so many people would have expected, but still an SKT win. The ward in that brush is why King Zone had their wits around them and more damage, CC and positioning was on point than if they hadn't seen Gragas coming. Here is the replay. They know that they're coming from that angle. The Yasuo ults one. He does kill Tucson, but he doesn't actually achieve anything else in the fight and goes down eventually. Deft goes in aggressively, and you might wonder why it's always going to be a one-way trip. He has a health bar disadvantage, and taking out Teddy removes Baron from being an objective for SKT on the back end. Yeah, huge hero play is Cuz. Might actually find some value here. The insta-kill is what he's looking for. The leap comes in, and that's the next Q to secure the kill. Well, if you go in alone in the jungle, you die. Haru just needed to be more aware of where this game was at. He goes down. Bit easy there. Can they kill Cuz? He doesn't have jump. He does now. Yep. That's the Whoa. flash from Teddy, though. He's looking for it. That's why you don't attack move without pressing that don't that hit champions button. And uh, Teddy's going to hit the control ward and lose it. Now, they wanted to kill Cuz so they could just run at Baron with no smite, apart from the unsealed spellbook smite from Tucson. You still know that Cuz is going to base. 
Well, he's well, Cuz is already here. Him to, but he's just straight on to Bandit trying to answer this one. Yep, that was a Abyssal Voyage, actually, that got over there. Windwall now on cooldown. Khan, World Ender already pop. We're going for the potential 50-50. Devour comes in. The Kha'Zix is going to be there. He actually leaps out of the pit. Faker right in there. He takes down the Tom Kench. He jumps back in, secures the Baron for King Zone. Khan is so low, and Faker secures the kill on the rise. The Baron goes to King Zone, but is this just going to be the game for SKT? It's Teddy. He's at full health and there's only Neon to try and save this for King Zone. Five members of SKT they had the smite on Toos and he goes in the valley. They don't give away the Aatrox race until the last possible second but they get that kill. They roll through and I think the game just ends here Atlas. Unless Neon can do something it's not going to be Baron empowered minions. He has the Baron buff. There is an inner turret on the bottom side of the map. Can he deal with this? The answer is going to be no. He does go immediately into stasis. Ultimate not going to be there. No flash, no options, no nexus turrets. We're going to a game number three. SKT versus King Zone will go the distance. It's what everyone wanted. The welcome game number three between SK Telecom, T1, and King Zone. Another game drop. Only the second three game best of three for King Zone since the second round Robin started. Really fun game there. King Zone all in onto the Baron against Aatrox. Coz's health bar low. They had to try to be creative. They felt like they understood their map control this game. 